and welcome back to another episode of coffee and stocks in today's video we are going to talk about workhorse but before we get started how about we get some coffee <clears throat> Woo, that was hot all right so don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as press that amazing subscribe button because honestly it does go a long way in supporting the channel and i really do appreciate all 604 subscribers that i currently have right now i really do appreciate you guys you guys are the best all right so we are talking about workhorse and there's a specific thing that i do want to talk about and it's this right here workhorse management fumbled losing 84 million in 90 days now before you panic and before you say anything crazy this can only mean that it is gonna be a short seller report right yes they might have lost 84 million dollars in 90 days but it had to do because they had to increase the amount of people that they hired it had to do the increase of uh you know facilities you know increase of of uh, buying purchasing any kind of materials etc etc because of the amount of things that they have uh, in their uh, mindset that they're gonna build etc etc but let's go ahead and read a little bit more into this <clears throat> last monday workhorse a struggling electric van maker posted a record 84 million dollar loss now they say a struggling electric van maker right that's kind of that's kind of rough like you're you're starting with that right off the bat that's kind of sad right uh, the company could have manufactured its entire 2021 20, production volume of 1,800 vehicles, dumped them into the ocean, and still have lost less money. Needless to say, it's a massive warning flag for the future of Workhorse stock. Eh. For the past decade, Workhorse has struggled through amateur hour. Its founder, Steve Burns, left the company in shambles in back in 2019. Now, new management has taken things a step further with one of the worst time convertible note insurances in corporate history. With subsequent $200 million deal, the company seems to be doubling down on that form of financing. Shareholders should uh, balk. Convertible notes are an easy way for managers to maximize the value of stock options while hurting long run, run shareholders. So, will Workhorse uh, still survive? You have to see that if Steve Burns left the company in 2019, we can't really expect that much to happen in one year, right? Yes, you could see huge burst and huge everything. You know, currently workhorse is at $28.78 compared to what it was. It was at $15.38 a month ago, right? Obviously, that's coming from when we had that second crash not really second crash but that second little pullback uh for them to say that it might not survive yeah i don't think so uh workhorse is burning through investors cash yes but that's because they are growing they are buying more more uh things in order to make more you know uh, they're hiring more people, etc., etc. The growth and the value of Workhorse itself has totally increased, right? This person does. Who is this person? Thomas Yang, right? Did uh, compare it to Tesla, and they also said that Tesla issued uh, convertible notes in 2019 after its shares dropped considerably. Yeah, but you have to understand. Tesla has grown that part and workhorse is going to do the same, uh, the same thing. Now he, uh, this person doesn't really like prove anything in this report. They just said, Oh, Rivian already made a hundred thousand vans and it's, and it made a deal with Amazon. Yes. That's dumb though, because workhorse is doing a different thing and it's working with the usps contract and all that stuff it's gonna grow it's gonna grow and yes there's no denying that covid19 has caused a setback for workhorse however this isn't a problem moving forward right they are still gonna produce they are still gonna get the contract and we look at and we look at it right here today going for 28 dollars 78 like 
yes it's a little crazy we were at $29.93 at one point and then we had a little bit of pullback and then it came back up after that now am i gonna see some kind of correction do i think it's gonna be some kind of correction yes i believe there might be some sort of correction not just for workhorse but everyone in the ev uh, sector in general that includes uh uh, Tesla and we see a little bit of a pull up because Tesla has uh, joined or has been accepted to the S&P 500 and everything goes up right but then when the, there is a correction everything is going to go back up and it's going to start uh, trading sideways after that now I'm showing you guys this and I will attach the link uh, in the comment section down below I think you guys should do your own homework do your own due diligence I don't think this is enough you know for workhorse to you know sell off and get go crazy go ten dollars i don't think so workhorse is a huge company and it's gonna keep making a lot of those vans that uf usps uh needs in order for the contract they are gonna get it we just have to have some kind of patience and we are playing this in the long term all right so this was today's video pretty short hopefully you guys liked it uh, they came out with this short seller report and they're trying to scare you, but please do not be scared. Don't, don't panic sell. Don't do anything of that. Just relax. All right. Don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as press the amazing nice subscribe button because honestly it does go a long way in supporting the channel. And I do appreciate every single one of you guys and I will see you guys next time on coffee and stocks.